T-boned by this big rig traveling northbound. Obviously, we don't know at this time whether or not it stopped at the stop sign. Uh, but clearly that's all part of the investigation. But what is tragic about this, 25 passengers were on board that Ford Expedition. 12 of them died at the scene right here in Holtville. The driver uh, was a 22-year-old man from Mexicali, we learned from CHP officials here. Uh, a lot of the other injured obviously were transported to area hospitals. Another one died at the hospital. So in total, 13 people dead from this tragic accident. The driver of the big rig, a 69-year-old man from El Centro. He is alive, suffered moderate wounds, so he is talking to investigators preliminarily though, but still there's so much more information that needs to be gathered. Specifically, according to CHP officials, Andrew, they say what's difficult is that they don't have the identification of all those passengers on board that expedition. Some of them had ID, some of them didn't. There were men and women on board, the youngest 16 and the oldest 15 55 we know and clearly right now they're just trying to identify these passengers figure out where they're from and obviously notify next of kin as well andrew and sandra um that that was one of the main um kind of uh questions that we, we heard from reporters there uh asking california highway patrol uh officials um what were these people doing all these people doing in this suv uh, and they, they didn't want to speculate on that and they didn't want to answer that directly until we know more about the investigation um, because people were, were asking that that's near the Mexican border. Were, were these farm workers, were these uh, immigrants, migrant workers there? Um, and they just wouldn't, wouldn't budge on that question. That's right, and I asked the same question. So it's really uh, unknown at this point. They don't want to speculate, they don't want to say, but obviously uh, some of the language barriers involved made uh, officials bring in the Mexican consulate for help as well to try to talk about these language barriers. But we do know, again, that this is a very largely agricultural area right here. They say all the traffic through this thoroughfare and the surrounding area is largely people going to work or conducting work in this area. So we're talking about possible farm workers as you were mentioning and the big takeaway though i did ask is it unusual how do you even fit 25 people in an older model suv like that Obviously, CHP officials said not everyone had a seatbelt. The maximum occupancy for an expedition like that is probably around eight passengers. And then we're talking about the fact that the force was so strong. At least six people were ejected, Andrew. And clearly, he says safety is utmost concern. But what shocked me is that CHP officials said this is not the first time they've come across a vehicle like this that was packed and over capacity like this. So clearly, they've seen this before in some cases. Cases, but it's just shocking and we just can't wrap our mind around the configuration how you could fit so many people in that one vehicle yes yeah, Sandra that is the question on everyone's mind uh, when they're coming to this story today my last question for you though when do they think the uh, the scene will be cleared the road will be opened uh, and do they expect to you know update the press again either later today or tomorrow Absolutely. In fact, we just had an update around two o'clock. So just about an hour ago, they said that was going to be their final update for the afternoon. But with new information coming in in just about 30 minutes or so, we are expecting to hear from officials once again live here on the scene. I can tell you, Andrew, accident investigators are here. They're flying a drone. They're trying to map out this area, map out the skid marks and what exactly happened here. This thoroughfare, this uh, State Road 115, this portion will be closed for some time, uh, several hours at least, uh, to, to be safe. And, and just a, a tragic, tragic story today there uh, in, in Imperial County. Uh, Fox 11's Sandra Endo, thanks for bringing that story to us today live on the scene there.